So first I have a question for all of you. Does anyone know who Florence Nightingale is? Maybe heard of her? So a little bit of background history. She is most known for the dramatic changes she had made in the nursing field. She helped change the way we serve the soldiers food, which kind of contributes to the spread of infection, which is one of the biggest issues we have as nurses. That's our main job to make sure we're not spreading more diseases around. So she's called the lady with the lamp. And the reason why she was called that is because in the middle of the night, she would, instead of sleeping, walk around and check on all the soldiers, soldiers to make sure that they're okay, if they're in pain, seeing what they need. So we kind of have that nowadays when we do our rounds, when we go check hourly on all of our patients. So nursing has been around for a really long time, but not until the 19th century, we kind of changed the way that we look at it. It was more like a religious aspect before the way we treated people. Now, modern days, we use medicine. We show compassion. We show that we care. We don't just go and say, let me check your vitals. Are you okay? Okay, bye, thumbs up. We have to put a little bit more effort into letting all our patients know that we care. So. Simple things such as asking somebody like, what can I do to make it your stay easier? Are you comfortable? Even not just the patient, but their family members it makes a big difference. You'll see it just on someone's face how much more relaxed they are in the hospital setting. I've chosen to come to Citrus and to major in nursing and to give back by becoming a registered nurse. The way that, the reason why I chose Citrus, it's multiple reasons. First, it's super convenient. It's really close to my house, so I'm able to go to school full-time and work full-time. Another reason I chose Citrus is when I came to have my meeting with my counselor, she like gave me a lot of good information and she pretty much put me she saw what I wanted to do and she put me on that path just to go straight there. There was no in between and she's gonna help me get to where I need to go. And the last reason why I like Citrus a lot is the diversity. You know, it's so open to have your own self-expression. There's many cultures here and the diversity in your whole life, you're gonna be around this. And this is a great first step to see that. So aside from being Citrus being like an excellent school for those reasons. It also has a really good nursing program. Which brings me to my next topic, which is what is my major? So my major is nursing. And the reason why I've chosen that, there's personal reasons for that, aside from the fact of wanting to help people. When my daughter was born, she got really sick at five days old. And um, we took her to Queen of the Valley, and then they tested her bilirubin, and her levels were so high, they've never seen a child with levels that high before. So, you know, I get a call from the CHLA and they're like, okay, we want to do emergency surgery on her. Like she's going to die. And for me, like my heart dropped, wow. you know, my daughter was planned. This is something we wanted to complete our family. And to hear someone say like everything you wanted can be taken away just like that wow. broke my heart. But it also opened my eyes to realize that there's other people who go through this every day. And if I can do something to help change this and help people feel better about these situations, then I'm gonna do that. According to Leanne Ho, she's a nurse at Garfield Medical Center. She states that one of the most rewarding feelings in life is to do something for someone else with no strings attached from the bottom of your heart. You'll never feel any more happiness than knowing like you had some kind of impact on someone else's life. It's a really selfless thing to do. My director, her name's Unhe Song. She works at Garfield Medical Center too. She used to be a nurse. Now she's in charge of making sure surgery goes smoothly and everything. And um, she told me a story the other day how there was a, a visitor who was very upset with the way his mother's condition was. He was just crying in the hallway, screaming and like threatening physical harm. And, you know, it made the other people nervous, too, because their family's having surgery. So she had to go out there and talk to him and tell him, like, sir, like, I know what you're going through and I'm really sorry. And she embraced him. And he calmed down. And sometimes maybe what we say might not change the outcome of what your family's going through, but it's good to know that someone cares, someone who doesn't know you cares about you and wants to make sure things are gonna go better for you. With that being said, I am gonna change the future by becoming a nurse and giving back to everybody. Whether I know you or not, I can't wait to be there to make an impact on all of your lives. 
Um, I personally don't really like seeing people upset, even if you're not in physical pain. But if you're crying, I'm probably going to ask you, are you okay? And then if you answer me, I'm going to be like, do you want to talk about it? And then I'll kind of go off you, how you're reacting. You know, I'll know when to back off and things like that. So as we're coming close to the end, I kind of want everyone to think back of these personal things that I told you about and just see that people care. And that's why we become nurses. It's not just about like people think because the money and things like that. Maybe some people do it for that reason. But personally, for me, it's just like, it hurts me to see people hurting. And if, you know, I can give a good outlook to all of you as to what a nurse should be, then that's what I want to do. The way that I see, like, I can change everything is by being a humane, compassionate, considerate, and empathetic person to everybody, whether I know you or not.